Here we'll discuss Columbus's fourth voyage. Uh, in class, we'll talk about it more in depth together looking at quotes. Um, but here are some important thoughts to keep in mind while reading this. So Columbus really thinks that his mission was divinely guided, right? And he kind of signs some of his letters um, saying that he was kind of the bearer of Christ's mission, right? So he connects himself to God in a lot of interesting ways. Um, and, you know, he had kind of unfortunately driven himself to madness at this point in the fourth voyage, not sleeping much at all. He was in this frenzy. Um, he was trying to make some new discovery to reclaim his title, reclaim his name, um, and to kind of get back in favor with the royal family, who at that point um, in Spain was very much like mistrusting of him. Um, they were very suspicious and only kind of gave him very limited um, kind of powers. Uh, he wanted to go back to Hispaniola and kind of take it back, but he was very much rejected. He had been a really terrible uh, governing entity. Um, previously, they really hated him. Um, he had pressed for gold mining and putting people basically enslaving them to mine for gold, run people ragged, um, and he had people executed kind of like on a whim. So he was a really mercurial kind of like uh, leader and somebody that they did not trust either. Um, so in this voyage, he, he then afterwards tried to find a passage through South America um, to create this trade route. Um, but his ships and his crew were in disarray. They badly needed repair. They had been eaten through by like shipworms and he ended up becoming shipwrecked, I think near Jamaica, um, and was really desperate. And so interestingly, he used his knowledge of a coming eclipse to scare the local people. Um, again, asserting this theme of divine providence um, and gain supplies from them. Eventually he was rescued and by some of the colonists and made it back to Spain um, where his support had really kind of fully waned. Um, the queen was dying at that point and she was kind of his biggest um, benefactor. So even in spite of all of that had happened and all of the evidence to the contrary, he kind of continued to believe that he had found Asia, that he found this route to the East Indies, um, though clearly he did not, um, but that was something that he kind of stuck to. So we'll look at some quotes directly in class together, but keep this in mind as you read the, the final voyage. <laughs> 